Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel again. Walking stick, or maybe a hiking staff. Tina and I and the dog went out for a little excursion the other day. We were checking out uh, some timber that's probably about uh, two miles from our home. And uh, I was checking my topo maps out and using the compass to see what uh, we could do and how we could get through this certain area. Of course, as you can see, the first thing I did was run into water. Now, this is swampy ground around here, and that's common. It's not that deep, uh, probably uh, not even up to your knees, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, but one thing I didn't have was something to guide me through the water. So now I'm going to kind of transverse around this water spot and uh, see if we can uh, find a location to, to get around the water. We saw several good signs of wildlife. This is a raccoon track, so this is a good sign. This is coyote tracks, and when you see coyote tracks, you know there's rabbits around. Uh, something else is too, if you'll notice the back paw is about two thirds the size of the front paw. That's how you know it's a coyote. There's my topo map. And uh, after I got back home, I got to looking at what I needed. And that had to be some type of either hiking stick or a walking staff. Now this is a hiking stick that I'd purchased several years ago. Uh, I used it up in the uh, Ozark Hills. Uh, they call them Ozark Mountains, but they're just big hills. And I used it bear hunting. And if you notice this, this stick is about uh, uh, just about the right height for me all the way out, but I'm, I'm a fairly tall guy. But a staff would be quite a bit taller, and I'll show you the difference. Now, my concerns about this thing was is it's, it's aluminum, it's not real big, and I'm a pretty good sized guy. I wanted to make sure this thing would support me, especially since it's telescopic. Now, this is the way you actually run your hand through the band. It helps support you in a long hike to where um, you don't feel like you're you know, catching as much of the pressure off the stick while you're walking. This is where I tested it. And like I say, I'm about 250 pounds. I do not want to be leaning against this stick and it collapse on me. Now going downhill, I'd want it fully extended to help me support myself so I wouldn't, you know, hurt my ankle or, or, or worse, break a leg. But you can shorten it for uphill travel so that way it helps you to uh, get yourself going uphill. So these are really handy, but it's not necessary. Uh, I mean, you know, you can go out and spend the money for one. I bought this one at uh, Wally World. Uh, I really don't recall how much it was. It is lightweight aluminum, and you can carry it in your pack. If you had it, you could reach and get it pretty easily. It also has some other features that are fairly unique to it. It does have a compass in the top. Not a very big compass, but it is a compass. And it also has this end. Now this end is a rubber end, which is really good around where I live at in this uh, sand so the staff won't, uh, or the stick won't soak into the ground or stick into the ground. Here's a point that has little, little teeth on it, which is really good for the rocky areas. And that's what I used up in the mountains. Also, if you'll notice, it has uh, increment marks. Now it's in centimeters, but this would be excellent in water. I could use this to tell my depths so I'd know whether or not I was gonna be stepping off into something that would be over my boots. Now here's another idea. Now this, this is a piece of stick that uh, I had cut off of uh, uh, a closet rod. So this is a pretty stout stuff to hold up clothes, but if you, unless you can tell though it's short, because it's a short piece, it's all the piece I had, but it's really kind of too short for me as a, as a cane or a walking cane. But the one thing I don't like about this is if you were in a, a rural area, it looks kind of aggressive. I mean, you see a guy my size walking around with a stick in his hand like that, uh, you may think I'm looking for trouble. So here's another idea. Here's one of the dust mops that our company uses. And this is the handle. Now this handles a fairly strong handle. Uh, and actually it's about the right height even for me because it's a little taller than that walking stick. And I can reach down about probably a foot it also has the ability to let me go downhill and then I can just choke up on it for going uphill. Now you could also put a like a leather wrap or maybe a paracord wrap in that section. Now if you're out in the woods, this is what I would do. Find your stick, cut it off, and make your own staff. Now some do this. They cut it in a Y to make their handle. 
and that's okay, but for me, that's a little too dangerous. I'm always afraid I may fall and it might hit me in the eye or something like that. But as you can see, that'd be a really good stat there. So you can cut your own. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know that Tane and I really enjoyed the day out. But next time, I think we'll have us some walking sticks or some kind of staff. So thanks, guys, so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.